Later tonight, Pike captures a German prisoner in Dad's army. But first, we have the Thames men. Here's our break of Ska. And Ska is the new beat from the West Indies, from Jamaica. A new sound to replace perhaps the Mersey sound. In fact, you might call this the Merseyless sound. Hello! <laughs> Chad! <laughs> Hello, I'm George, I'm in Los Angeles. Hi, George in Los Angeles. My name is Alex, I'm in San Francisco, and you, thank you so much for joining us. You've found the Thamesman. Ta-da! And we are in the, we were talking about in the last video, about getting out of your lane into another lane. And we're in the scar lane right now, aren't we? Do you have any scars? Oh, God, I have so many scars. What's, like... the, what's the best scar you got? And I'll tell you my best scar. <laughs> what are we, 14-year-old boys? Or Go on, Ed. Well, what scar have you got? You don't have any, do you? <laughs> I've got a good one down here. Oh, was that from the uh, the car going into you or the bike crash? <laughs> that was that was the that was that was the bicycle. That was the mountain bike down a mountain. Stupidity. Last last run of the day, and hitting a jump, uh, and as it wasn't really well thought out. It was like there was a jump. I thought last run of the day, I'll give it a go, and um, then when I hit the jump and I took off and I was going pretty fast. I realized that I actually had no idea what I was doing and I had no idea how to land it. And I was about, you know, 10 feet in the air. Uh, and um, it all then came, you know, gravity took over uh, in, a, in a pretty dramatic way. Uh, and I nearly pulled my shoulder off. But that was nice. Yeah. And then there was no one there. I was on a mountain with no one there. And like, you know, in ultimate pain. And I had to, I had to get myself down the mountain. And oh. anyway, it was, a, it was, that was my best scar. Did you How about crawl? You? Did you crawl? No, I actually got back on the bike because it was a long way to go still, and it was pretty brutal. But anyway, oh, oh well, you can't you can't see it. It's a, it's it's actually one of. I should have to show in person. I I had stitches up. I can't. I think it's up there when I was a kid because my friend is how kind of middle class is this? The most middle class accident you could ever had. My friend. He came out to play, hid in the grandfather clock. And I knew <laughs> and I knew he was in the grandfather clock. So I came towards him like, oh, I know where you are. I and the grandfather clock was quivering. I know where you are. And I came up and he just went, thump. <laughs> it just shook me out. Absolutely. And it took out a whole chunk up there and I had to go and get stitches. How big was the grandfather clock or how small was your friend? He was small. He was at about five. And oh, the, yeah, yeah, and he got into the bit where the you know where the pendulum is and stuff like that. And they're pretty big. It's I've a got grandfather. A, I've, got a, I've got a grandfather clock. In, I know um, you did. You got it for free. Well, because yeah. we thought it was a fundraising idea for the Thames, but I'm now stuck with a bloody grandfather clock. Does anyone want a grandfather clock? It was a fundraiser. Tell the, the truth, right? Tell the truth, right? What we were going to do? We were going to do this. We were going to do this flip, right? Where we I both still got buy the footage. So I, so where we buy and sell stuff, and we flip and we flip and flip. The original idea of the Thamesman is this, ladies and gentlemen. This was the original idea. We get up to five thousand subscribers, mm -hmm. then we go and buy a pickup truck, mm -hmm. right, in the middle of nowhere, and we and and, and we drive back and we document it, right? So that was the original idea. It's flawed. We get to 5,000 and you realize you can't make any money out of this because all the money goes to musicians. Anyone who stops the videos and stops the starts, they're trying to get the money. Anyone who lets the money go through. So, so first of all, our idea made no money. None whatsoever. No, no, no. And we're not rich men, so. No. no. So that whole idea. So then we decided we will do a an idea where we would video, we would start off with one small thing and then we'll flip it, another thing, another thing like that. Long story short, George got himself a free grandfather clock of pieces, right? <laughs> then, Which I put together. Then he made it. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's in his sitting room. <laughs> <laughs> so then, if anyone would like to buy it for like or swap it for a pickup truck, um, I've got a crap crap grandfather clock. That's it. Oh, that, oh, oh, I've also can... got a bicycle that I bought from Larry. And yeah. I've got footage of buying from I could put the footage in here actually, couldn't I? I could because oh, I've got all the footage. 
negotiated with Larry on the side of the street. All right. Let's talk about your bicycle, mate. Huh? Let's talk about your bike. Okay. Well, you, well, you, you got, I, I told you, that's a, that's a low low. I gave you what you asked. 50? There you go. How about 40? How about 45? Here you go in the middle. 40 cash. And... Okay, you go, bye-bye. 40 cash? Deal, man. Deal. Thank you. I'll give you cash. So we got a bicycle? 40 bucks? Let's see if we can make some money for this. <laughs> it's not a stolen bicycle by any stretch of the imagination. I, I, I paid way too much money for it. So so a money-making idea, Larry, is 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 not good. So 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 far we've got a reaction channel that makes its own money, a grandfather clock, and a stolen bicycle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I bought a coat hook as well. I got a really nice coat hook thing. And well. we are no nearer to getting that bloody pickup truck whatsoever. Uh, right. We just surround ourselves, Jack. With crap. Welcome everyone. You're in the middle of week three. We've had some uh, uh, week three, week three, uh, week, uh, week three, day four. What? Nah, nah. <laughs> we are in the middle of Scar Week, and we're on day four, aren't we? Well, yeah, we're not nice. doing sequentially. It could come out, but we've had some amazing Scar. Um, that's come through. We've had the Clash, and we've had Prince, Prince Buster. Yeah, Prince Buster, one of the original ones, and then oh, we Ian had... Jury, oh, and his band, the Blockheads. That was fantastic. But for when it comes to Scar, and it comes to London, and it comes to Two Tone, it's this band for me. Okay, all right. Well, do you want to read the notes? I'll read the notes. It's a specials, a message to you, a Rudy Live. All right, let, let me get the notes up. Chris, we're not very smart people, obviously. That's why we have. A pickup truck, not <laughs> no, grandfather have, clock. Uh, and no, no sorry, forget the pickup truck. That's why we've got a grandfather clock <laughs> and a <laughs> stolen bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's a, that's all we got, right? Um, so Chris does this for us. So thank you very much, Chris. I'm also not very good at putting words. Yeah. It went the right order. <laughs> in, in any order. Doesn't have to be even right order. Forming in 77, the specials, a.k.a., were uh, asked to open up by Joe Strummer for the Clash tour. We just did the most amazing Clash track. After gaining this exposure, they dropped the a.k.a. from the name and the specials became a, consist a constant fixture at the top of the charts, having seven out of ten hits in a row in the U.K., we loved Scar, didn't we? Yeah, it was There good. was an era where Scar was just wicked in England. Yeah. Keyboardist and main songwriter would form the two-tone record label named after the suits commonly worn by the Scar acts and would go, I told you it was the, the, the suits, uh, the okay. colours. Yeah. Oh, I'll get through this in a minute, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bear with me. Worn by the Scar acts and would go on to write the most overly political songs of a ska movement, including the song Free Nelson Mandela. However, this is a cover of a song by David Livingston, a cautionary tale to a term used by the fans of modern ska. You, uh, you, for... you jumped a whole line, my friend. I did. I of did course. jump the whole line, but no one seemed to bother. And I, I did. was doing quite well. I know. No, but it made However, no sense. However, this is a cover of a song by David Livingston, a cautionary tale to a rude boy to change his ways. However, rude boys and girls were also the term used by fans of modern ska for themselves, and it became more of a celebration of the ska way of life. The Clash song Rudy Can't Fail is a reference to the rude culture. Ah, I always wondered about didn't that. didn't know that, and I always knew that rude boys were the ska fans, you know? Uh, uh, okay. All right. Let's do this. For the, for me, this is it. This is the uh, you know is that the pinnacle of it. Is I can see the band coming next, and actually, mm, mm, mm. we're building up. Okay. Yes. Count me in. All right. The specials. A message to you, uh, Rudy. Three, two, one, go. This one is the next single. Featuring Rico and Trombone. And Dick, I don't know what you call it. What you call it, Dick? A cornet. It's a message to you, rude boy. One, Right out of problem. 
that was so cool. They are really cool. Really cool. You, you said the other day, uh, the question was, if you had a superpower, what would it be? I've changed my mind. Not flying. Time travel. I want to go back and now knowing what I know, appreciate these bands and go and see them in their time and in their era and in the clubs in London. And I want to see that again. That I, was so know. cool. That was so cool. They, they looked so cool. I mean, you know, you can see the mod scar influence in that and so well dressed. So, so much, Sharp. so much style. Yeah. You know, exactly. Cool as shit. And also what a great sound they had. That snare. Yeah. So, yeah, that, I mean that's a snare without the snare bit on, oh, you know. Yeah. And, Rings, but, doesn't it? Yeah, what a great and the and the the uh, the keys on there and then the oh, that trombonist Trombone. yeah. was so relaxed. So you got all this jarring going, and he was just so slow. He took his time, and it was so perfect. Yeah, that's a great track. And I never realized the message in it before, you know, the message to Rude Boy or whatever, the message to Rudy, uh, you know, and that was, and then so you listen to the lyrics and what they're saying in it again, it changes it completely. The perspective. I, I miss that, actually. I miss that because I was so into the music. Uh, I've got to go back and listen to it. It might, it just felt so Notting Hill, Notting yeah, Hill yeah. Carnival, yeah. you know, West London. It felt, I remember that era so well. I love the specials. They, they, there's one band coming up after this, which probably the pinnacle, but for, for, for me personally, the specials were the cool, really cool, uh, you know, band. And they were so, so, so kind of, you know, they, uh, so merged with the West Indian culture and the white, you know, kind of yeah. mod bit. It was so yeah. great. Yeah, no, it was definitely an era, wasn't it? You know, yeah. it was a time, you know. And it's such great music. And it, I mean, you put it on today, it still sounds fresh as fuck. Yeah, really no, exactly. Does. Yeah. And still sounds cool. I mean, you could put that on now and straight away you are relaxed. It's great. It's just brilliant. Okay, I got a question. Yeah. So is there an equivalent to Scar? slash specials now i mean obviously we're not that intelligent we're not that well educated put it, it anyone know what would be today's equivalent of of, of a specials you know i know what, i actually think exists i actually have a different question okay what's your question <laughs> no, i don't know what i know what your question is <laughs> i was gonna make one up there um we've had three versions of scar right we've yeah. had uh the original scar we've had you know the jamaican scar we've had the english mod punk scar and then we've had the kind of the worldwide skate punk scar do you think scar will come around again the fourth generation yeah i think that'd be interesting you know yeah. it's, and it's then fun. what for i mean could, you know could, uh, i i'm sure it will it has to it have to come back around you know, reggae's has reggae come around again and again. It's only been. I don't think reggae's ever really gone. It's always been its thing, hasn't it? In some regards, you know, like um, maybe not like not like Bob Marley in the same sort of level, but um, disco mm. never came back. Really, did it? Huh? disco never came back. Oh, I don't know. Disco keeps coming back. There's always disco influences. There's a definite disco influence out there right now. You know, disco's like herpes. <laughs> you really think you got on top of it and then, uh, and then be an expert in this and then you get another attack i've seen the adverts ah uh, okay all right yeah <laughs> all right well anyway leave your comments down there that'd be great awesome. and disco's not like herpes i have got no idea i'd rather hey, i'd rather have her i'd rather have herpes no what about we did well let's have the bgs they were classic they probably all got herpes <laughs> <laughs> that's why two of them are dead that's not how it works. No, sorry. No, no, Maybe no, they no. caught it off each other. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> right, anyway, let's move on. Let's move um, on. Yeah, we got. Thank you for joining us on uh, on 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 the on the specials and the, and the scar. That was absolutely brilliant. I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. We got one more day left. One more day. All right. Well, thank you, Chris. Thank you for being here, and uh, thank you for sticking with the scar week. Yeah. Good luck with your scar. See you on the front flip side. Flip side. Flip side. Come.
I want to go home, but uh, all they want to do is scar. Listen, is there is there a still a, a movement of that sort of Hello, Alex. sound? Who was that? Where are you going? Ah. What? What? <laughs> Today is haunted. What the that hell was, was my, that? That was, my, that was my fucking keyboard doing those. What? On on my laptop there, and I touched. I got a big electric shock. It just fucking spoke to me as well. So so earlier when we were recording, he had tapping on the back wall from something. Oh, what, is, is we're your... not. We're gonna cut this out, man. I'm a bit freaked out. What the... just, I just that tapping. I that monster. I heard. I turned around. Did you hear that? Machine speaking to me. I heard it. It's like Alex. What, what, really authoritative. Why was it talking to you? I no idea. And I t went around and touched it. And I've got I've got this linen chair, or whatever. And I I touched my computer, and it gave me a bootleg Harry Potter shock. Right, <laughs> and like, like that. My computer turned on. The knocking stopped.